this demo is going to go over the new updates for GarageBand. Um, so when you're working with this one, uh, the app that you're actually looking for is the one that has the amp stack with the guitar. So that's the one you want to open. Um, it'll still show up as a guitar down in your dock. So I'm going to keep this one in my dock. Um, but when you get in here to create a new project, I would recommend probably just creating an empty project. So just double click and it'll open it up and it'll prompt you to create a track. So um, I'm just going to do one that has um, an input. Uh, you could do one where you plug in an instrument. I'm just going to use this one. Hit create. Um, sometimes you can use this track or, you know, it's kind of like a video layer, but it's audio. Um, you can you can use that track sometimes. Um, what we're going to do real quick is just go over here to our loops. I'm going to click on this. Now, your loops should be updated. You can see all mine are highlighted and showing. Uh, if they're not, you want to download them and then ask uh, a teacher for password to install those. Um, basically, all these work is you have different categories of sounds. So if I want to go into beats and then I click on one, it's going to give me just a, an example of what that one's going to sound like. So if I like that one, I'm going to bring it out and drop it in. Now, I should be able to move this one. Yeah, that one worked for my audio. And you can see it created a new track. I can delete tracks as well just by hitting the large delete button on my keyboard. Um, I can also go up to the top right here. You can see that I get this little kind of curvy looking circle. That is going to be my continuation. So it's allowing my loop to continue on. So now when I go over here and I hit uh, spacebar to play, Okay. And really the idea here is you want to kind of um, layer stuff up. So the sound's always going to sound better um, when you when you go in here and layer things up. So I'm going to go into beats again and let's try another one. All right, so I'm gonna use that one as well. And I'm going to start that one up, you know, like a little bit later. Okay, so um, and then maybe I roll that one out as well. So let's see what this sounds like now. Um, some other things, really simple stuff here. Uh, we, you know, just kind of keep bringing in things and messing with, you know, okay, let's go in. Bring this guy in and let's see. Sometimes it won't let you uh, pull, pull the loop out. Um, so if that's an issue, you know, call it to your level, take a look at it. Um, but now I have a couple tracks going here. Um, each track you can see, you can edit. I can turn off the audio so I don't hear that one. Or if I want to hear it only on headphones, um, or I want to, you know, go right or left or control the volume level, I can do that, or what speaker that it's going to, you know, this one only goes in through left, this one, you know, the other one only goes through right. Um, the other thing you can do is you can hit this little keyframe thing right here, and when that gives you the ability to fade tracks. So I click on that line, and that's a volume control line. So now I could have my start point be a little bit lower, and then I can st stagger this. So let's see what that sounds like now. Um, that yellow right there is... Um, enabling this which is our cycle so they would just play that one part so if you start highlighting this it only play that part on a loop um, something you, know, you can use as, as you see fit and you can see it's fading in right if I wanted that to happen a little bit sooner I just move my point over right. and I can do that same thing for all my tracks so if I go down here and start creating keyframes right I want it to start low and at that point kind of fade in quickly that way stuff isn't too abrupt you also have your um, count up here the one two three four or the metronome so metronome will kind of keep beat going so if I didn't have this audio on and I played you're still gonna hear the metronome and that's what this is Oh, that's what those are doing. So I'm going to turn these back on. Next thing, uh, just kind of looking up here, I, I don't really use any of this because I'm not a music person. However, I do change my beats and project to time so that I know time increments. Um, hopefully that doesn't freeze this up. One thing, there you go. So now I can see, all right, how long is this clip, right? So it's, you know, there's second markings, which for me makes more sense. Okay, I'm going to turn off my cycle. Um... And again, just resetting and going back in through categories over here for your loops. You can go in, try a different one, and bring it out. Um, some of the other tricks and things you can kind of mess around with. Um, to split something. Let's see if this will work. Edit split regions at Playhead. 
and that would then cut this up so I could kind of break things apart, move things, delete stuff individually if I needed to, I needed a break. Um, to share something out, I'm gonna go up to share and then ex export song to disk. And so if I was done with this, I would just send it out and I'm gonna tell what kind of file I want it. I want an MP3, high quality, and then just send it to my desktop, okay? The files themselves, just thinking of the working file, I would just go file save and then tell it where to go to my, I would probably change this to my desktop as well, um, maybe in a folder for audio. Um, one last thing you can kind of play around with is you can kind of click on different, so you can see this one right now, it says grand piano, but if I went down here, I could change that, so I could change it to like a hard rock sound. Let's see if I double click it, and you can see now that's gonna sound different than it did before. So let's isolate, so we just hear that one sound. All right, so. Um, let's see, I'm gonna undo that. So you can see. And you hear that sounds way different now. So try a synth. So that's just a way for you to kind of mess with those, you know, what that thing's potentially doing. Let's see. Pump up the volume a little bit there. Alright. Um, and this is just kind of different kind of styles that you can put on as far as sounds. So um, those are some of the basics. Uh, go ahead and mess around with your loops.